Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Frey, and this is the first episode of Domination with Extreme Prejudice. Now, this is going to be a series where I basically destroy the other team, right? Simple concept. I hope you guys grasp it. And in this particular gameplay, I'm going to speak about a particular little weapon, a secondary, if you will. A pistol. In fact, possibly the most amazing pistol in this game. What is that pistol, you ask? Well, why are you asking? Everyone already knows, because I, I ruined it, obviously, in the title. The gun I'm speaking of is a B-23R. Now, why do I believe this gun is so beast? Well, what other reason, then? It is simply beast. Just in every single way, every shape and form, it's a beast. How so, you may ask? It's accurate. And it's powerful. Now, this is particularly because the burst fire. It's crazy, right? Cap 40? It's nice. It's weak. And it's basically a submachine gun because it's 9mm, I believe. And it's shooting automatic. Which is basically the, the standard for a submachine gun, if I'm correct. And that's alright. Trust me. It's a, it's, a very, it's a very good pistol itself. And then you got the semi-automatic pistols, which are not bad at all, either, you know? They got accuracy and power. Cap 40 has... Spray ability, really. That's the only thing I benefit I can see from it. Frankly, the Cap 40 is my weakest gun, at least for my personal stats. And this is basically combines the B-23R, of course. Um, combines semi-automatic and fully automatic, which means I can spray but still be accurate and that just is dandy for me because it for when I first actually started I was very inaccurate you know new controller new system of course I'm gonna be inaccurate but I got used to it how s I'll tell you how I was playing I was using my shotgun class this is actually my shotgun class except you know with a pistol and I was running around in slums destroying people as I usually do and I picked up this Akimbo B23R combo. It was amazing. Why? Because it's basically a shotgun when it's Akimboed. You know? Except deadlier. Because the fact that it's burst fire kind of makes it like the Emma leaving. And it's Akimbo. So it gives you a lot of spread. And it's fairly inaccurate at range, obviously. Just like a shotgun. So it was very deadly. In slums, particularly. So. I sought after unlocking a Kimbo for this gun because it was frankly just outstanding. I severely bruised some people's butts in that slums game. So I went ahead and built a class for it. Obviously I like to keep my if you know me, I'm a person who likes to have his classes organized. One thing for one thing, one thing for one thing, one thing for another thing, you know? So since I was using the shotgun class when I actually like this, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to attach my pistol. And it makes sense, you know? It's it's a pistol. Obviously close quarters, just like a shotgun. So go for it. And I did. And I loved it. Why? Because it kicked ass. This is my first game actually using it. And I just annihilated everyone on the other team, as you can see. Granted, looking at it now, they are a bit low rank. So a tad inexperienced, you know? And uh, uh, I may have been host. Not sure. I doubt it though, since every time I do get host, I get kicked because I have a shitty connection. But, yep, I kicked the butt. I got three Warthogs, count it, three, and three Blackbirds or Orbital VSATs and AGRs. Basically, I got three of each. And I just, I, I had a lot of fun with this gameplay, particularly because I was rushing. And I, when I actually first got this gameplay, which was a couple months ago, I. I was super hyped and energetic. I loved playing like this because, as you can see, it's basically a rusher's class, and then the smoke and pistol makes, I guess the pistol is lighter than a shotgun. Who would have thought that? I don't know. It just feels like you're moving faster when you're striding with one pistol on one hand and the other hand open, you know, free. And then, with the smoke, it makes it so I can easily sneak in and out of their base. And this particular gameplay, I did exactly that. I ran from one point of the map to the other point of the map, captured their point, defended my point, destroyed the enemy team, and dominated it with extreme prejudice. They stood no chance, and when I say no chance, I mean absolutely no chance. Because frankly, I destroyed them, as you can see, round win. That's right. 
three kill streaks right off the bat. Look at that. Coleman. And yeah. Basically all I can say is you guys should definitely try rushing for once. You know, I, I know I get all on and I see a lot of campers, so I know you guys aren't rushing, but come on. Be like a Russian. Rush. Obviously, I don't believe there's actually anything that ties those two words together. But you should rush. It's fun. It really is. If, in fact, if you want to go ahead and copy my class, I have this perfect nice loadout layout. You guys should definitely try it. Um, it's a really fun class. I, I, I can't stress that enough. It's so fun. When I first used it, I was just amazed by how fun it was running from one point of the map. And basically just running almost constantly, you know, rarely slowing down. And I played a couple games after this. And each single game, I just got on my killstreaks and ravaged the other team and got at least a 3 KDR or higher. It's just was pure destruction. I thought the most deaths, I think the most deaths I got uh, out of like that gaming streak was five in a game. It was it was just outstanding. I loved it, and it, it makes it even cooler to realize that you're taking out guys with machine guns and shotguns and stuff with a pistol. Come on, and it, it's a badass pistol in itself because it's just this accurate. It's freaking powerful. It's and burst fire is great, you know. I always like burst fire weapons because they make me feel so accurate and deadly. Because they, they obviously hold power. And if you press the trigger uh, rapidly, you can actually shoot off a couple rounds pretty fast and effectively. Which makes this an effective killing machine. And which makes it my favorite pistol in this game. It's just great. So yeah, you guys should definitely try it again. I encourage any new play style. Obviously this particularly isn't a uh, very new play style, but you know, rush, particularly you smoke and a pistol, it's fun. This is like, it's, you're like a ninja, you know? If you have a tack knife, go for that too. Like, if I was there, if I'm jumping towards a base on A flag, or actually, I believe this would be C flag. No, nope, A flag. If I'm jumping into A flag and I'm above on that little, like, loft, whatnot, chuck my smoke, jump in there when they're spawning, ninja knife them, Obviously, if I had a silencer, silence snipe them. Capture the flag, get out of there before the smoke dissipates. They never even know what happens. Just amazing. And as the attachments go, my favorite attachments I thought were going to be akimbo because that's basically what got me into the gun in the first place. But extended mag, yeah, gives you that extra uh, assortment of bullets that you might need to actually get a double kill or a triple kill. If it's not that fast mag, because I... I have like this OCD, I guess you could call it, the, where I have to switch out my mag the second I just killed someone because I like to have my mag full in case I ever run into a group of enemies. I don't want to get taken out. I want to have every single bullet count. So I, I like having fast mag and or extended mag. Then it would possibly be <clears throat> a silencer. A silencer is great. It's effective. It's silenced. It's deadly. And Kimball would probably after that. You know, I like it, but it's very inaccurate, and it really dissipates the whole beast, accurate, and deadly ninja motif I got going on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Again, I encourage you to try a new playstyle. Thank you for watching.